Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 31 of Lightroom Quick Tips. And in this episode, I'm going to show you a little trick on how you can apply a custom white balance to a JPEG image. Let me explain. As you can see here, this is a Nikon RAW file. And next to it, I have a slightly different scene of the same marina, but it's a JPEG uh, file. Now if we go back to the raw file for a minute and I go to the basic tab, under white balance we have this drop down and you can see it says as shot right now. When I open that, you can see it has auto, then it has daylight, cloudy, shade, tungsten, fluorescent, and flash, then it has custom. Now if we go over to the JPEG image and we look at this white balance drop down, all we have is auto and custom because the white balance is baked into the JPEG already. So you don't have um, any of these choices that are available in the raw file. Now I know a lot of photographers that do this little trick and it's more for creative purposes. It's not going to give you a perfect, uh, let's say, shady white balance, but it will get you in the ballpark and it works very well. What you do is you go to your raw file and you pick a white balance and we're going to go with uh, well daylight's not going to do much a little bit it warmed it up a touch uh, let's well let's go to cloudy all right we'll do cloudy and what we want to do now is create a preset with this cloudy white balance so we go up to our presets and we're just going to click this little plus sign right here and we're going to give it a name and I'm just going to call it cloudy and we want to put it in a new folder so we're going to go up to the top and it says new folder and we're going to give this folder a name and I'm going to call it white balance all right and we're going to click create now as you can see everything's checked we don't want everything checked we just want to transfer white balance or to make a preset for white balance. So what we're going to do is we're going to check none right here. You're going to see process version remains checked and that you want to remain checked because you want to use the current process version. So just make sure that's checked. If you have any questions, I do have many videos that talk about process version and what it means. So we want to keep that checked. And over here at the top is white balance, the very first checkbox actually below settings. So we're going to click that and we're going to click create. Now we have a folder in our presets uh, tab. It says white balance and under that we have a cloudy preset. So we could go to this image, which is a JPEG, and it does not have cloudy available. So what we're going to do is we could just pick that and that gave it this cloudy um, white balance uh, setting that we stole basically from this raw file. And now you could do this uh, with all the different white balance that is available to you uh, in your raw file. So we could go back to our raw file and we could put it to let's say shade and that will warm it up a little more. So we're going to create a preset for that and we're going to call it shade and Lightroom remembers your setting. It's in folder white balance and uh, we're just checking white balance and process version and we're creating it and there it is there. Now we could do another one. Let's do tungsten. And you can see that really cooled it off quite a bit. So we're going to go up to here and we're going to go to tungsten. Oops. And that again, just white balance is checked. Process version is checked. Click create. Now we have so far three different presets under white balance. Cloudy, shade, and tungsten. And we could go to our JPEG image now. And again, if you look, there's no setting for any of these. So we could go to tungsten, let's say, because that's a very dramatic switch. We could go to shade, or we could go to cloudy. And again, you could go through, uh, go back to your raw file, and you could add any you want, fluorescent, flash, if you so uh, desire. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, you get the idea. So this is how you could apply a uh, specific white balance to a JPEG image. And again, I, I know a lot of photographers that do have 
a white balance preset folder and they use it whenever they uh, have a JPEG that they need to get close to a specific white balance. So that's it for episode 31. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it, appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.